Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna to reveal to you my secret strategy on what the elements are of a winning six-figure Google Ads product. So a lot of you probably go, what exactly do I need to look for? I'm gonna give you the exact criteria, the elements that you need to go out and look for to find a winning product for Google Ads. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the elements of a winning Google product. Now, while I don't like the phrase winning Google product because I find that Google, you are able to sell pretty much anything on there as long as people are searching for it uh, or searching phrases where they might buy something like it. I'm gonna show you the elements that I think that contribute to being a really successful product on Google. So let's get into it. Guys, there's seven things I've found where products are gonna do well on Google, right? So the first one is mass appeal and or a large addressable market. Now, if something has large appeal or the market is large, now think phone accessories, right? Everyone almost on the planet has a phone. So phone accessories and phones themselves are a huge addressable market, right? So other things are like beauty, health, wealth, laziness, anything relating to those is gonna have some more search volume, right? So the more search volume, the better. People always ask me how much search volume. Guys, in short, the more the better. Don't focus on it too much. If you're gonna build a whole store around it, yes, focus on it a bit more, right? But if you're running a general store or you find something that has a couple of hundred searches, obviously that's not a lot, but when you add up all the different variations, you're gonna to get to several thousand very quickly. If you find something with a few thousand on one keyword, definitely gonna be all good. If you find something with 10, 100,000, huge market, it's gonna do well, right? Potentially. The second one is a benefit or solution that is fairly obvious, okay? If something doesn't have an obvious solution or there's not a phrase that can be typed into Google that isn't specific, you're probably gonna need creative like video or an image to better explain it, right? And this is where Google uh, does not do well, in my opinion, unless you're using YouTube. So number three, sell accessories to complement large well-known product releases. Now, a perfect example of this is when uh, Apple or Samsung release a new product, right? Any accessories related to those are going to skyrocket. Normally this occurs in Q4, so something like that, if you can search for some uh, product releases, you're gonna find accessories to complement those, and if you sell those on Google, you're probably gonna do reasonably well. Number four, perceived value is high or not well known. This is a common e-commerce uh, attribute of something that's gonna do well, guys. Think jewelry, jewelry always is quite cheap to buy, but the actual uh, sale price is much, much, much higher, right? So the perceived value of jewelry is normally quite high. So guys, my ideal profit margin is 25 plus. The reason I say it is your cost per conversion on your ads is probably gonna be 10 to $15, sometimes 20, right? If you don't have enough there to cover the cost of the goods and all other factors related to running your store, then you're not gonna be making money, right? So $50 is far more feasible, hence why I say great to sell a higher ticket products. Now, when I say this, you can actually find lower cost per conversions if something is just going gangbusters at a particular time of year. You know, you might see three, four, five dollar cost per conversions, right? So you can find lower profit margin products and sell them. My recommendation is you stick to higher ones. It's just gonna be much easier for you and uh, don't make life harder than it needs to be for yourself. So number six, people have an emotional connection to it. Anything that people have an emotional connection to, kids, pets, uh, their health, all those sort of things, uh, their beauty, this is something that is gonna do well because people are gonna have questions around it and they're gonna be looking for solutions, right? So the more, the bigger the connection, the stronger the chance of having a sale. And number seven, a recognizable brand or product equivalent to the branded option. Now, if you're selling branded products and you're legally able to obtain them, these sell really easily on Google because people are searching for it. They're just wanting that specific product. If you put the right product in front of them at the right price, they're gonna buy it. The same thing goes for if you can find alternatives to well-known brands that are potentially cheaper or better, uh, then this is another key element I find that can do really, really well. So in my experience, guys, if you have four of the above, then you've got a much better shot at hitting over six figures. If you have at least five or six, more likely to hit seven plus figures. And if you have all of these, 
right? You're far more likely to hit eight figures. Now, this is absolutely no guarantee, guys. So these are just the factors I've seen that contribute to six, seven, and eight figure products, guys. You can definitely, even with just one, if the addressable market is big enough, then you know you can definitely hit those higher numbers. Now, one little note, guys. People overthink product research for Google in a big way. I personally have had stores and managed stores, uh, managed accounts selling in small countries, just like the country I'm in, Australia. We've only got 25 million uh, people, and I've helped six, seven, and eight figure stores, guys. So you can definitely do it even in small markets. Just be patient, persistent, and willing to try lots of new things. It can be a bit of a grind, but if you find something that hits these factors here, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a much better shot than if you just approach this willy-nilly, right? Don't overthink it, guys. In the next video, I'll actually take you through some of the strategies I use to find some of these products.